Good day, everybody. Let's now talk about a new lesson in Unit 10. The first lesson, we'll be talking about the nature of the National Artist Award for Literature. In this lesson, we are going to be discussing as to what is the nature of the National Artist Award for Literature. Who is this bestowed upon and what are the uh, benefits of those who will be receiving or those who have received this distinct honor or recognition? the National Artist Award for Literature. Take note that there are different fields of endeavors wherein this prestigious award is given, but this time we are going to focus on the National Artist Award for Literature. So make sure that you have with you your pens and notebooks to jot down key and salient points of our discussion as well as questions that may be formed uh, through our discussion with this lesson. After this lesson, we will be taking note of the different artists who are able to receive this distinct recognition. And with that, I hope that you are going to be able to understand why and how right, this particular recognition is bestowed to Filipino artists. And take note that this is only exclusive to Filipino artists. So what are our main objectives for this lesson? We have two. First, is to familiarize oneself with the National Artist Award for Literature. We are going to immerse ourselves as to how this particular recognition is going to be bestowed upon uh, artists of certain various of, of certain and of various fields of endeavor, and explain the nature of the National Artist Award for Literature. We are going to understand. What are the different characteristics that are being identified in order for you to be uh, given the recognition of National Artist Award? So, with that being said, we have here our review questions or an essential question rather that is going to be answered uh, during the course of our discussion. How does one become a National Artist? With the title of a national artist, it seems that you are among, right, the top of the crop. Meaning to say, natatangi, uh, isa sa mga pinaka uh, kinikilala that is in the field of your endeavor that you are vested in. How do you become or how does one become a national artist? Now, with that being said, let's try to review, right, what are the different aspects as to which we are going to be basing the recognition of National Artist Award for Literature? We have two points to ponder. What are the major types of literature? Let's try to remember, recall, right? What were the different major types of literature that we were able to discuss in our previous lesson? And based on our previous lessons, which types of literature are most prevalent in the Philippines? Meaning to say, unsa ang mas daghan or mas uh, prevalent nga literary type, literature type, there is atong nasod sa Pilipinas. What is more common, commonly done or commonly crafted, that is a type of literature in the Philippines. Because as we have said, this is only exclusive or this award is only exclusive to Filipinos. So, considering the prevalent type of literature that is com or that is yeah, prevalent in the sense in the Philippines, what are the basis, right? What are the basis for being able to receive this particular award? Now, as we go through our lessons in this unit, Let's try to remember these questions so that we may be able to understand better the lesson at hand. Na, huh, how do we, or how does one become a national artist? And if so, unsa ang ginabasehan nga type of literature for you to be considered a national artist for literature? Because there are a lot of different types of literature. But the question that we need to understand is, what is most prevalent in the Philippines? That from there, we are basing the award from. So, let's first discuss all about the National Artist Award. 
This award is also known as the Pambansang Alagad ng Sining Award. When you become a national artist, you are now considered as a Pambansang Alagad ng Sining. Meaning to say, this award is a distinction given to a Filipino who excellently contributed to the enrichment of national art. This is given by virtue of Presidential Proclamation Number no. 1001 on April 2, 1972, which intends to honor through a ceremony administered by the National Commission for Culture and Arts or the NCCA and the Cultural Center of the Philippines or the CCP. Now, with that in mind, take note that for you to be considered a pambansang alagad ng sining, you must be able to do a particular or you must become an expert of a particular field. Now, in this case, in literature, right? Since we are talking about the national artist or pambansang alagad ng sining, you must be an expert of a particular sining, right? Kailangan how jud ka na. You are, kumbaga, kinikilala ka as one of the best in that particular field. Now, the distinction is given as the nation's expression of gratitude for the artist's contribution to the cultural heritage of the country. That is the most, or if you ask me, that is the definite point of concurring the National Artist Award. The categories for the field of literature are poetry, fiction, essay, playwriting, journalism, and or literary criticism. So to answer the previous question in our review questions, what are our major types of literature given that we have already discussed that no? And based on those previous discussions, which types of literature are most prevalent in the Philippines? So for you to be concurred or awarded the National Artist Award, you must be an expert to the different fields or categories of the different fields of literature in the Philippines, which is poetry, fiction, essay, playwriting, journalism, and or literary criticism, right? So when we talk about literature, these are the different categories in which a particular individual should become an expert of or should be recognized as an uh, as you know, a a, a sunin or kada maayu siya anak nga ex nga, anak nga field. Now the fields of art that is are in, or include but are not limited to the following. And these fields of art are the ones that are considered for you to be identified or for you to be recognized as a national artist or a pambansang alagad ng sining. So ito yung ibang mga sining na kinikilala for music, dance, theater, visual arts, literature, film, broadcast arts, architecture, and allied arts. So these are the other categories, right, of or fields of art that could be bestowed a National Artist Award. So we have music, dance, theater, visual arts, literature, film, broadcast arts, architecture, or allied arts. So those are only few. No, it is not limited to only these fields of art, but it could be the basis. So we have so many national artists already coming from these different fields of art, right? We have from music, dance, theater, so on and so forth. Meaning to say, these individuals who are given or bestowed the recognition as national artists for the following have really contributed to the cultural heritage of the country. Of the Philippines. Muna nga, exclusive recognition class for Filipinos. Filipinos who have done extraordinarily to contribute to our cultural heritage. Why is this very important? This is very important because it talks about not only nationality but our identity, right? Our identity as Filipinos. And with that, we as a community, we as a nation are able to produce are able to contribute to the cultural heritage of the country. And with that contribution, the country or the nation is expressing their gratitude to these individuals with their hard work, 
dedication and years of cultivating, right? Helping cultivate the cultural heritage of the country. Mona, that if you can notice, some of the names that are among the greats in the different fields of art that are bestowed the National Artist Award are not really the mainstream artists that we see because their focus is not really just to sell albums to sell or to kind of generate income per se but they are to cultivate and contribute to our cultural heritage as Filipinos. Muna, some of them are uh, considered as, as artistic activists because they use their art to help no, the cultivation of cultural heritage based on proactive involvement. Some of them also go to the communities right, to, sp to spread and to influence the communities through their artistic uh, artistic outputs, right? Whether be it in music, dance, film, visual arts, literature, so on and so forth. They are the ones that are preserving and are considered as gatekeepers of our cultural heritage in an artistic perspective. Now, what are the benefits given to national artists? First is colors symbolizing their status. Meaning to say, wherever they go, they are acknowledged or they are recognized as national artists because nasila ilhanan, nasila symbolism ni ana, which are colors. They also have a citation by the incumbent president of the Philippines. So that is, of course, given that the National Artist Award is being bestowed upon or given as a recognition by and through a presidential proclamation, then the citation for these national artists will be coming from, ultimately, the incumbent or the sitting president of the Republic of the Philippines. They also receive or they will also be receiving a monthly pension. As to the amount, it is not really disclosed because given that this is a law, na sa balaod, so it is also considered how much you know, the amount is for their monthly pension. They will also be given a future state funeral and burial. Meaning to say, they are, since they are given the distinction of a National Artist Award, then they will be given a state funeral when they die, and they will also be buried in a, kana bitang, a distinct nga lubnganan sila. Let's say, libingan ng mga bayani. Kana. They also have their own burial, depending on the uh, prerogative of the family of the national artist as well. And they will have acknowledgements in cultural events. With their contributions, it will be acknowledged in different cultural events that may take place in the country or in a particular locality, especially to where they have contributed and influenced best. Also, in the next slides class, you are going to see a YouTube clip I should say, a YouTube clip of the Order of National Artist Awards in 2016. This was the last, uh, the, last uh, nito, the last awards given by the late President Noynoy Aquino in 2016 before he took, before he, um, before he seized office upon the election. No, so. Monisha, uh, we can see here the National Artist Awards in 2016. So as you can see in this video, we have there the entrance of the president together with, of course, the presidential security group. And awaiting him is the chairman of the NCCP as well as the CCP, National Center for Culture and the Arts and Cultural Center of the Philippines. You have the dignitaries, statesmen, and then the awardees and their families. So, kaninga mga tao class, as you can see, they are of old age na because you cannot get the National Artist Award in your 20s, in your 30s, or 40s. If you're really that good and if you have really contributed a lot to the cultural heritage of the country, then you may get it in your 50s. 
But I highly doubt you get it in your 30s and 40s. Pero mo pa may pagsugod ni mo, anak. Right? So, these individuals who are receiving the National Artist Award from former President Aquino are the ones that have really spent years. They have really given and dedicated years of their lives, no? perhaps away from their families, their families enduring the different sacrifices in order for these individuals to contribute no? artistically to our cultural heritage. So, different and varied people, given that this is a national, national Artist Award for Literature, so these are all individuals that are bestowed this distinct recognition with their contributions to our cultural heritage. So, makita ninyo, this is the ceremony being conducted. It, was, it is stated in our lesson that this is administered by the National Commission of Culture and the Arts, I stand corrected, National Commission for Culture and Arts, as well as the Cultural Center of the Philippines. And this is housed, or this was done in the Malacanian Palace, right, with the audience of the President and the other awardees, and other dignitaries and statesmen. So, pwede ragyud kaayo that they honor two or three individuals, two or three artists, depending on the qualifications that you surpass. So they, they have muna ang color nga kung ginapasabot. The color of the recipients of the National Artist Awards. So makadawat sila anak. Kato yung lang gidawat kagadiha gamurag plaque. Moto siya ang citation from the incumbent president. Katong naasa katong mura og lingkuranan that is kanisha. That is the what do we call this? The color symbolizing their status as na So that particular color symbolizes their status no? as national artists. Of course, dili na nila suot suoton every day. Dili pa na nila suot suoton when they go to public places para ibalandra lang you know that they are national artists because people who know them in their specific field of art or field of endeavor will really recognize them because Perhaps they have written books, they have been into symposiums, symposias, series of talks no, regarding their uh, contribution to our, to our artistic, artistic contributions to the cultural heritage. Pero when we have formal events and formal gatherings, then they can wear the collar. No? So that is the Bonay Nakanindot when you have the National Artist Award because you are taken care of by the government, not only you, but also your entire family. Right now, here is a very important question that we need to understand with this lesson. How does learning about our national artists deepen our appreciation for local literature? Given that the world is so vast and it is now becoming smaller and smaller because of technology, how does learning about national artists deepen our appreciation for local literature? Kanang dere lang yun sa Pilipinas. Does this evoke no the feeling that or the understanding that there is a need for us Filipinos to start reading or to emphasize more on karabitong tangkilikin yung mga sariling atin, the literature or literary pieces that come from our country, that come from or is based from our cultural heritage. Because as Asians, we have so many, right, different and varying cultural heritage. The real question there for us is how are we able to provide right the different uh, in uh, the different pagtangkilik with these literary pieces or cult uh, artistic contributions to our cultural heritage so i want you to ponder about that and if you have questions you may raise them during online feedbacking sessions that we have that's all